Hi everybody, my name is Kim Lorimer and I'm a member at First Parish and today I'm going to show you an overview of the Realm. This assumes that you already have signed in once before and you have a username and a password. If you don't have that yet, please see my first video about how to log in for the first time. To get to the Realm, go to our main homepage, which is uuneedem.org and in the green bar at the top of the page, you'll see a sign-in button. If you click the sign-in button, it will take you to a sign-in page for the Realm. Here, you're going to add the email and password that you've set up for the Realm and click sign in. It will take you to your personal profile page and what I'm going to do today is show you a small overview of what this page has on it. First you'll notice that there's a gravatar over here in this image where you can add an individual picture of yourself. If you click on that picture it will give you an opportunity to choose a file off your computer and you can upload it and it will put that in as your picture. You will also see that there are four tabs, activity, info, groups, and giving. Probably one of the most important is the info tab because this is where you have the opportunity to make changes in real time to your account if you were to get a new phone number or change a phone number or change your email. You'll see that under my contact information, if I hover over on the right hand side of the page, a little blue icon that looks like a pencil comes up. And if I click on that edit button, I'm able to change my name, my address, my phone number, I can add another phone number, and I can change or add an email or social media links. Once I'm done doing that, I push the save button and it takes me back to that main profile page. Anytime you're working in the realm and you need to get back to the main profile page for your account, in the black bar at the very, very tip top, you'll see your name. In my, ca in my case right now, it says test two. And if you click on that, it will always take you back to those main four tabs. The second thing that we're going to talk about is the giving tab. So if I come over to the far end and I click on giving, right now nothing is set up in this account, and you'll see there's an opportunity for me to click the give button or the pledge button. If I click the pledge button, I'm given an opportunity to say I'd like to make a pledge, say $100. I'm going to make it specifically to this year's pledge. I'm going to give it once a month. I make all these selections and then I say save pledge. At this very moment I'm going to cancel out. If I wanted to give a single one-time gift or I wanted to give a gift to the 4th Century Fund, I can click the give button and it will give me an opportunity to just say a specific amount, what I'm giving it to, maybe it's the youth group trip or donations, how often I want to give it, and then the payment information for that gift. So, so far we've talked about the info button and the giving button. The next button that I'm going to talk about is called groups. And there's going to be a further video really going into what groups can do. But for right now I want you to see with this new person that I've set up, that if I click on groups, this person has been added to a single group. It's called the Racial Justice Task Force. So if I want to see what's going on in that group, this is one of my groups for this person, I click on Racial Justice Task Force. And I can see that there's info, posts, events, roster, and resources. That lets me see more things about what's going on with the group. Look at my further videos to learn about using groups. And right now I'm going to take us back to our regular profile page. You can also see that there's activity over one the last tab we're going to talk about. And that is a place where I can see any activity that's happening in any of my groups. So right now I'm only in one group, the Racial Justice Task Force. Somebody added a link and I'm able to see who that was and what they added. And you'll notice that it's a, what's called a threaded conversation. So somebody might post something a single time or somebody might post something and then there's a response to that. And you're able to see it in order along with the topic that's being discussed. If you're interested in joining a new group that you've never been a part of or you're not a part of any group, if you go to the black bar at the top of the page and click on the button that says Groups, you can see all 70 groups that exist within the church 
And let's say I'm interested in joining the bike club. I can click on that button. I see that Bruce Barnett, Alan Robbins, and Liz Rover Bailey are the leaders. And I click the button that says, I'm interested. I write them a message saying what I'm interested in. And I click send. And that way the leaders of each group can add me to the roster and then I become part of that group. Many people belong to um, a large number of groups, five or 10 or even 15 different groups. Once again, anytime I want to go back to my regular page, I click on my name up in the black bar, and that takes me back to the beginning. The final thing I want to point out on our regular profile page is the search button up here, and this is a place where I can look up anyone who's involved with the church. If I type in their name or the very beginning of their name, I can usually find the profile of that person. And then if I click on that person, I can see their contact information in order to send them an email or maybe a phone call. I hope this has been helpful as an overview of what the Realm has to offer, and I hope you'll watch further videos to be able to learn how to use the posts and group feature. Thanks very much.